All right, here we are. We've got this uh, BMW G310GS up on the ramp. We're going to change the cush drives and the chain. If you see here, look how much play there is to wheel to cush drive. You know, that's not normal. And it's clanking. Apparently, it's a common problem with these uh, cush drives. So if you go on the internet, some guy changed it at 600 miles or something, the cush drives. What we're going to first do is going to mark the chain and count the links because obviously the chain we've got may be a little bit longer. Hopefully it's not short. So we're just going to scratch that one and then we're going to count them. So the scratch one is one, two, three. So that's 112 links in this chain. And as we can see on there, 520 times three, uh, 112 dB. So that's a 112 link chain so it's great we haven't got to mess about taking anything off there all right let's get this back wheel out now then uh we need to take this rear hugger off somebody's put on i don't think it's standard i'm not sure oh dear there you go just an allen bolt and then that six mil and 13 mil span got the rear hugger off out the way and i just hit 27 mil socket on this hub nut spindle nut right that was really tight i'll loosen that off a fair way and then i'll what i'll do is i'll loosen the chain right off so that's the spindle nut loose this is a 13 mil open end it get it in there luckily there's plenty of lubricant on there so it's spinning it just gonna put a little bit of WD because that looks a little bit rusty there. I want it screws into the housing. Just like that. So I'll do the other side. I'm just gonna screw this adjuster in. I've done the other side. Just back that right off. I might you might get lucky, it might it might turn with your hand. The nuts moving on there. Oh, yeah. I might take once I got the wheel out, I might take these bolts out and Clean them up and put some lubricant on them, just so they move easy. Right, just pushing the spindle through as far as we can. And that, I've pushed the wheel forward. The adjuster, still not enough. Oh yeah, a little slack there to get the chain off. There you go. Go around the other side, pull the spindle out. Take the weight of the wheel. Slide the wheel out. Might have to just lift the caliper up out of the way. No need. She's out. And there's the cush drives. There's a spacer there. I'm just gonna put a piece of rag down. So I'll rest the disc on the on the rag. Right, so here's the cush drives. Uh, the offending articles. Let's take one out. And here's the new ones. So if we put them like for like, look at the difference in size. You can see clearly see that that one's a lot thicker there. See? Yeah, it is. Right, where did we get these from? We got these from BMW Original Parts. They were £30.60. and pence. That's inclusive of VAT. Uh, we motor was a month to two months delivery 28 pounds and uh, on ebay probably non-original 75 pounds so do ring the main agents because sometimes you're very surprised so let's get them fitted so i'll just put them in it's so simple just make sure that you put the little nobbles downwards uh, you can't get it wrong and then we're just going to slide that in that was really hard to get in there actually so look at this look absolutely no play whatsoever what i did on the lugs i put on the metal lugs i've just put some rubber grease on there 
We had a really hard job squeezing it in tight. Taking the adjusters out now. Just, I'm going to clean them up and then lubricate them. I've already done the other side. Very long screws on there. So we may not have been at our fullest six inch, but just in case, we'll put a new chain on. And then the cameraman's done for the life of his, the bike. He doesn't tend to have them too long. You can see it's a bit corroded. So I'm going to clean it up with a wire brush and put some copperies on it. You see, I just cleaned it up with a wire brush and then just put some copperies on it. Just screw that in there. Well, I'm going to use a Dremel for this. Don't forget your safety glasses. I've got mine on. I'm just going to grind off the rivet. So I've ground off the two rivets on one one link. I've got this link splitter, just so it's banging about. Of course we're doing this because it's uh, a, a linked, uh, oh, a linkless chain. So I've split the chain. You can see the, the top part come off. You've got a couple of O-rings there because it's an O-ring chain. All we're going to do is connect the two chains together and pull it through. All I'm going to do is put the new chain into the old one. It should be enough just to pull it through. There you go. We're going to put the back wheel in now. So it doesn't matter where the chain is at the moment. So just make sure you've got the spacer in. I've, I've put a screwdriver in and just opened the disc pad, push the caliper back, open the disc pad up. So when we lift it up, it's gonna go straight in. Uh, we're gonna have to be a two man job. I've, the cameraman's gonna put the spindle in. And I lift it all up into play. So what we did, we took the ABS sensor off. It's just that screw, because uh, it made it a lot easier because the disc was catching on it. So um, I've seen people on the internet where they use a hammer when they're out in the field just to hold this side up on the swinging arm and they pulled it out and put it back in easy. I don't know how he did it, but <laughs> there you go. But take the ABS sensor out if it comes out easy, which this one did. Saves a lot of messing about and it's all gone in. So we're gonna, just put the nut on the on the spindle, making sure you've got the all the bits and bobs in. I'm just going to chuck the chain on to that sprocket and then bring it around. And hopefully, it's going to join up. Yes, look at that, just like that. So I'll get the link. So here's the link. I've. Uh, You've got O-rings on it, so I've put two little O-rings on it. And I've put some grease on it, like you're supposed to. So I'll place it into there. Get the other end of the chain. Put that in there. And then there's two other O-rings. So you put the O-rings over there, here. And then we put the link on. And just put some grease on it. These little O-rings. There's a shoulder on the chain. Yeah. So. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So when you put the link on, split link, make sure you have the open end pointing to the vehicle uh, the front of the vehicle bike and that should go straight on there but... there you go she's on that was a bit of a a tight jobby to do so what we've got to do now is adjust the chain up 
as you can see, we've just come outside. It's got too hot in the shed to work. So we're going to adjust the chain up now. Uh, we've, we're looking for the tight spot uh, and we have found it. So what you have to do, you have to keep rotating the uh, wheel until you find the tightest spot. Now this is the tightest spot of the chain because the other chain, it was really, really loose in other places. And once you've found the tight spot, that's it. It should never change anyway. So that is the tight spot there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these off, two or three of them, and I'm going to paint them red. So I know where to adjust the chain every time. So I'm going to get the stuff to clean it off and get some paint on there. Right, I've painted it because you all know how to paint, don't you? What I did, I just wiped um, a little bit of um, nail varnish remover just to take the grease off and just dab some paint. I've done two or three, as you can see, it's just so if the paint wears off, you'll know roughly where it is. And so it needs to be adjusted roughly in the middle of the swinging arm, which is about there. And it needs 40 to 50 mil up and down. It's a few days later now. And uh, we're going to readjust the chain, but this time, this was the rear hugger. We've taken that off. We think that was rattling about too much. But also, the adjuster, you couldn't really adjust the chain very well. We put some grooves in there. We're not 100% happy. So what we did, we went to BMW, and they got them in from Germany. This proper piece, it replaces all this. And it, as you can see, it's got the proper grooves and markings in there to so line the chain up. Also, we're going to change the chain roller. Uh, that is the bearing is really really noisy in that and that's on the other side that's an that's an easy fix both came from germany from bmw i think they were about 20 pound delivered you know uh, so uh try your main agent don't always go on ebay and stuff like that right let's get to it first off i'm gonna give it some <coughs> take some tension out of the chain a couple of turns you know we don't want to be struggling putting it all back I'll do the other side. Thirteen mil, this is both thirteen mil. And then twenty seven mil on the axle nut. We're gonna take this all the way out. Well it's all loose now it's sliding down yeah so i've loosened that near enough all the way up and push that out and what we're going to do because we need to take that that we need to take the axle uh, out because of um we've got to replace that sp that uh, adjusting spacer so we've got, we've got a tube here so what i'm going to do the cameraman's going to go around the other side and has he pulls as he pulls the uh, axle bar, I'm going to slide this in place so we don't have to drop the wheel out. Right, I'm just going to push this rod through and the camera now is going to... Not too fast, don't pull it down before me, camera There you go. That way, keeps all the spacers in place. As you can see, the back wheel is supported now and it's in near enough the right place. Well, it is in the right place. All the spacers there, so I'm just going to swap this over now. So we're going to slow, slow down. As you can see, it didn't have any proper markings on there. We sort of tried to get the middle of the hole, but we want to be really certain. So, and this has got it already in. It's just a question of sliding that on there. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on it and then we'll slide it back in. Now we're going to slide it back in. So I'm taking the weight this of the wheel. As you saw, the uh, it's just the adjuster bit that slid out onto the tube, but we just pushed that back on. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to pinch this up a little bit okay, and then we're going to change that roller whilst there's no tension on the chain. I know I should be using a ratchet but I can't be bothered to walk down to the shed because as you can see we're outside it today. It's too hot to be in the shed really. It's about 25, 26 degrees and it's 11 o'clock. Right, so I'm going to get two 12 mils. Uh, on here, there's a nut underneath, and we'll have that off and chuck a new one on. Right, so it's just two 12 mils. Uh, I'll put an open ended at the back here. 
it's so easy you can't go wrong really the new the kit comes from bmw with new bolt and washer and a nut so i suspect they're just cheap bearings i mean i might try and change the bearings in this one it depends so. oh it's been fairly warm that you can see it grooved i don't know can't really hear that on 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 the thing online so put that down there like that so here's the new one we're going to put a little bit of grease on the shaft all right so we just push that up there this is why we've got the chain loose so we're not fighting against the chain push the new bolt in now you might have to push the bolt back just a little bit just so to get the washer in the cameraman can't show you because it's a little bit tight yeah i'm gonna have to take my gloves off i know i know i know the gloves are a little bit too big but the only ones i've got at the moment so i'm gonna take those off look at the sweat in there as well Pass that on. Turn the two. Not a Tina turn the two. I do hope you're liking these videos. If we're doing anything wrong, please tell us. Please subscribe if you enjoy them. Please comment. We do try and answer all our comments if we can. We don't know everything, and if we're doing something wrong, tell us, and we'd like to learn from our mistakes. Yeah, I know some of you think, oh, don't do it at all then. <laughs> but we enjoy it, we have a good laugh. Yeah, the cameraman can be argumentative, but uh, I've known him for 55 years, yeah, and we're still friends. Unbelievable. I'm not sure the torque settings on here. That was fairly tight, so I'm just gonna do it up fairly tight. It's like a lock washer on there. So. I'd say that's tight enough, it's because it's only an eight mil thread. So it shouldn't really be any more than 25 pound, I wouldn't have thought. Don't know what that is in Newton meters, I'd have thought about 35. But you ain't gonna get a torque, well you could get a torque wrench on there, but why bother so that's one one out open. now we're going to adjust the chain okay so the chain adjustment is far too far too loose as you can see it's traveling part of it it's got to be four between 40 and 50 mil so what we're going to do we're going to pull the chain back i'm going to count the divots on here little grooves one two three four five and it's coming up to being in the middle of six so i'm going to go to the middle of six on this one remember a, a little bit of movement is is a lot there but it's very very loose so. and you have to have this nut fairly tight i say fairly tight but not too tight uh, you don't want it loose enough so the wheel can sort of move because this this bolt nut needs to be pushing against that at all times and if it's too loose it won't so what if i don't have to come around and zoom in there it's a bit of bad light but that groove on this piece of aluminium is lined up with that groove in the swinging arm i'm going to adjust that now pull that back so that's so Bit more there you go i think that's dead in the middle to me so that's six now we're going to ch check the chain again i'm just going to tighten up a little bit more i've noticed that um if you count the grooves at the top 
they're half a groove out with the ones at the bottom. So you, you can do, it's five and a half at the bottom and it's six at the top. So that's that way you'll get in the middle, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so if, you, if you're not sure what, how far of a groove it is on the top, if you look on the bottom, you'll see it's different and it might be easy for you to work out where it is because you want to get it clean. And if you go too far and you need to back the wheel off, so you screw the bolt in a bit, get somebody to hold the front brake and then kick the tire back so the shaft goes forward to the bike and so you'll butt it up against the bolt again. It's quite easy. On the other side now, just checking to make sure they're equal. Recheck tension. Right, so I've adjusted that up. As you can see, I've got a job to push the chain up. It's just about at the top. So we're making the top of the thing, the tape measure, and then we're pulling it down. And it's just about 45 mil. I can pull it down to. So we're pushing it up. So we've got 40, about 45 mil playing there. Yeah. And what we've got on the adjusters is I've gone to the bottom ones. And if you count the, the dips, one, two, three, four, five, and it's dead in line. I don't know if you can see that. It's a bit light out here with the sun shining, but it's five and a half. And the other side is exactly the same. So what you want to do is tighten the, the lock nuts up. Oh, it's the 13 mil cameraman. Hold that into place. I can't get that one in there. That's why. Yeah, just hold him there and then pinch him up. And then we've got to do the axle nut up at 100 newton meters, I believe it is. So we'll get the torque rate wrench out in a second. Just lock this side up. No, don't do it stupidly tight because it doesn't need to be. Yeah, so that's five and a half along there. You can't really see because it's all a bit greasy, but I can assure you it's all lined up. And now we're going to tighten the axle nut up at 100 newton meters. So, 100 newton meters. There you go. And that's it. Go out on the test ride and hopefully be a bit quieter and smoother with that bearing that was absolutely worn on the roller and we'll be doing a review very soon thanks for watching